and I'm gonna have a, a British accent. You can't do a British accent. Yeah, you're right. Let me hear your British accent. Hello, Coastal. Hey Coastal, welcome to the Theology of Music video blog series where we take a look at the theology behind the songs that we sing. My name's Nate and I work here at Coastal. I'm not going to say my job title because Joel always makes fun of me for how long it is. You can insert something there if you want, I know you will. This week, we're going to take a look at the song Rescue. This is a beautiful song that we've been singing at Coastal for a lot of years. This song is really a cry for help. It's a cry for God's mercy and God's grace to come to us. And the chorus goes like this. I need you, Jesus, to come to my rescue. Where else can I go? There's no other name by which I am saved. Capture me with grace and I will follow you. And as we think about the song Rescue, I think it's really important that we consider just what kind of rescue do we need. Our understanding of the nature of our rescue depends on our understanding of the nature of our problem. You see, for different problems, we need different rescues. Think about it this way. If there's a fire in your house, what kind of rescue do you need? You call the fire department. Ghostbusters! If you're running in the park and you trip and sprain your ankle, guilty, what kind of rescue do you need? You call the park ranger to come and pick you up in a golf cart and drive you out, guilty. If a burglar comes into your house at three in the morning and they're threatening your family and taking your things, what kind of a rescue do you need? My Walther PPQ, baby. Do you call the police? No, you call the ambulance. From Gloucester, baby, pull out my 12 gauge. But you see, the nature of our rescue depends on the nature of our problem. So let's apply this spiritually. How we understand the rescue that we need from Jesus depends on what kind of rescue we think we need. It depends on what we really think our problem is. Do we think that we need Jesus to rescue us from, from bad situations in our life, from tension in relationships with other people? If so, then we're looking at Jesus like he's our life coach. Do we think that we need Jesus to save us from our low self-esteem or from these emotional issues that we have? If so, then we think of Jesus as our therapist. Do we look to Jesus because we want more stuff and we're looking to him to see what we can get? If so, we're treating Jesus like our genie. So we need to look to scripture to see exactly what kind of rescue we need so that we can understand exactly what kind of rescue Jesus provides for us. Galatians chapter three, verses 10 through 14. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. But the law is not of faith, rather the one who does them shall live by them. But Christ redeemed us, Christ rescued us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. So that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. So what is our problem? Our problem is that there is a holy and righteous God who has given us his law, but none of us can obey it. And therefore, as this scripture says, we are all cursed. We are all under the curse of the law and there is nothing we can do about it. No amount of being good, no amount of good works can free you from this curse. But verse 13 has the glorious phrase, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. And how does Christ rescue us from that curse? By becoming a curse for us. That is the nature of our rescue. You don't need to be saved from low self-esteem, from bad circumstances, from bad financial situations, from bad family relationships, you need to be saved from the curse of the law that you deserve because of your sin. You need to be rescued from hell itself, which is what all of us have earned. And Jesus took hell for all of us on the cross so that we might have eternal life through faith in him. So church, as we're singing Rescue this week, I hope that you'll keep in mind that the ultimate rescue has already been provided for us in Christ Jesus. 
He has paid the penalty for our sins, and he has risen victoriously from the dead so that all who trust in him might have eternal life. So God bless you guys. I'll see you on Sunday.